Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you my follow-up on iOS 13.3.1. I've tested multiple devices in regards to battery, all of these devices that you see here. I want to go over some of the details and also talk about uh, some additional uh, things that I've come across after using the software for nearly two days now. But before we get to iOS 13.3.1 and additional information on that, I want to talk about the older iPhones, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus. Apple released a new software update, believe it or not iOS 12.4.5 for uh, security improvements and patches for the software. So I'm very happy that Apple is continuing to support these older devices, not just leaving them behind. There's a lot of users that still use the iPhone uh, 6 and 6 Plus, and Apple continues to support patches and improvements to these devices. So I'm very, very happy for that. So thumbs up for Apple for doing that and keeping their customers on older devices also up to date with the latest security patches. So let's dive into iOS 13.3.1. And of course, you guys can anticipate another follow-up in about four days where I talk about additional information as well as the YouTube community poll. In this one, I want to give you details about the battery that I've tested on all of these, as well as a bug that I came across after updating to the final version. Apple noted that on this release, that they fixed an issue where notification sometimes fail to be delivered unfortunately that continues to be an issue apparently because i came across that issue after updating to the final release which i didn't encounter throughout the beta process which is weird so sometimes you get a text message and the notification does not light up your lock screen so it is there but it just doesn't light up the lock screen or you don't hear the sound so if you tap to wake your device you can see it but it never lights up the screen or makes the sound hopefully apple will address that in future software updates. So one thing I do wanna talk about is of course the battery. The battery was tested on multiple devices. Now one thing I do want to note, all devices that were tested, the same tasks were performed, the same settings were applied, the brightness was up to about 75% and all devices had Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled. Now in terms of battery health, I know you guys always ask about the battery health of these devices. These do have normal wear depending on the year from oldest to newest. So these devices have anywhere from 70 all the way up to 100% battery health. And I like to test these devices throughout the years because it just feels more natural to test it with the stock battery inside of all of these. These have all stock batteries. They haven't been replaced and the battery health is accordingly to their time. So let's dive right into the battery test. So what you're looking at here is from left to right, iPhone SE, iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8, iPhone 10, iPhone 10R, iPhone 10S, iPhone 10S Max, and the iPhone 11. So the first device to die and continues to have issues is the iPhone 7, unfortunately, with five hours and 10 minutes of on-screen time, followed by the iPhone 6S Plus with six hours and 35, iPhone SE outbeating the newer devices, the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 6S Plus, with seven hours and 15 minutes, the iPhone SE is performing very, very well, followed by the iPhone 8 with the seven hours and 40, the iPhone 7 Plus with seven hours and 45, then the iPhone 10R with nine hours and 40, the iPhone 10 with nine hours and 45, then followed by the iPhone 10S with 11 hours and 45 minutes, so great news there. The iPhone 11 after that with 12 hours and 30, and the iPhone 10s Max with 13 hours and 15 minutes of on-screen time. Now the test was performed as follow. We did two hours of listening to music starting off, then we did two hours of watching video, then we did some browsing on the actual device, launching applications and things of that nature, then we went back to the control center, continued to listen to music for the remainder of the time. So two hours of music, two hours of video, browsing the device, then back to music for remainder of the time. The iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, you have nothing to worry about. I'm using the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but the 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max just have no issues. The iPhone 6S was not on the list and the iPhone 8 Plus because I did not have them in studio as when I went to film this battery test. There you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this follow-up video, the battery test and everything. If you enjoyed these videos, make sure to click the like button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.